Finding mates for your pet fish is probably one of the most difficult considerations, especially when you're housing a fish that's been around 400 million years. It looks like a snake, the mighty beachier fish. But we got you covered here in our top 15 beachier tank mates you can keep. Starting the list with eels. Eels can be excellent choices as tank mates for the Senegal Bashir, as these aquatic creatures share a preference for dwelling at the bottom of the tank, allowing them to avoid potential conflicts with other inhabitants. This characteristic makes them ideal candidates as peaceful companions in your aquarium, but creating a harmonious living environment requires providing a lot of hiding spots for both the Bashir and the eels. This thoughtful setup will ensure a comfortable and stress-free environment for these fascinating aquatic species. The next fish you can't go wrong with, let's look at the Silver Dollar. Silver Dollars prove to be an excellent choice for a community tank due to their peaceful and social nature. Flourishing in schools of at least six, these freshwater fish require ample swimming space to thrive. Also, their slender bodies provide captivating views in the aquarium, and their predominantly plant-based diet, coupled with their omnivorous nature, allows for a versatile feeding routine. With proper care and attention, the dynamic interaction between Silver Dollars and Bashirs will enhance the overall atmosphere of any tank setup. More to that, they are notably fast and sizable, but their agility helps them avoid becoming targets for your Bashir. Just keep in mind you won't be able to keep plants with silver dollars because they're going to eat most varieties. Third on our list is the Hoplo Catfish. Thanks to the Hoplo Catfish's peaceful demeanor, suitable size, and adaptability, they become an ideal tank mate for our Bashirs. Originating from South America, these armored bottom dwellers can reach up to 8 inches in length, making them a perfect pair for Bashirs. But to ensure a perfect living environment for them, it's crucial to provide a minimum of 55 gallons of tank space and incorporate numerous hiding spots with sandy substrate. This setup promotes the comfortable coexistence of both species. One quick note is that this catfish is considered on the riskier end. Not because the fish could get eaten, but because Bashirs do have a habit of biting off the whiskers of catfish. Just make sure to observe carefully and action should be taken immediately if a fish is attacked. Say hi to our masterpiece, the Oscar fish. If proper precautions are taken to prevent aggression, Oscars here can coexist peacefully with Bashirs. Showcasing a dark body adorned with vivid orange patterns on their head and fins, Oscars can definitely add visual intrigue to any aquarium setting. While pellets and frozen food make up the majority of an Oscar's diet, they also derive benefits from occasional live foods like worms, insects, and for those inclined, beater fish. We love Oscars, and if you're looking for the other aggressive fish, you should check out our video all about them in the card above. Bashirs may love our tinfoil barb. Originating from Southeast Asia, tinfoil barbs are a captivating species that flourish in community tanks. Driving on a diverse diet comprising of both plant-based foods and protein-rich options, these fish can grow to a considerable size. For optimal health, it is pivotal to provide ample space, especially when housing them with Bashirs. When I say ample space, you should house them in an aquarium at least six feet long. Now, with proper care and attention, tin foil barbs and bashirs can peacefully coexist and release love. Okay, let's cut down the chase. Here is the knife fish. These unique fish need a spacious tank, ideally at least 125 gallons, and ensuring there's enough cover for both fish to thrive comfortably. Knife fish, known for their peaceful nature, require the ability to retreat from light during the day which is why sufficient hiding spots are substantial. To maintain their health, a diet rich in meaty treats such as worms, larvae, shrimp, and other small fish such as silver sides, if opting for the frozen root, is essential. The distinguishing feature of a knife fish is characterized by a rod-shaped tail and the absence of dorsal or caudal fins, making them stand out as a one-of-a-kind tank mate for your Bashir. Seventh on the list is the Bala Shark. Bala sharks are lively and social fish from Southeast Asia that can reach lengths of up to 12 inches, making them excellent companions for Bashirs. To ensure optimal well-being when housing balas with these bottom dwellers, a minimum aquarium size of 125 gallons is essential, maintaining water conditions between 72 and 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Given their social nature, balas thrive in groups, necessitating a larger tank size, and with proper care, you can create a thriving dynamic tank environment where both species happily exist. Giant Gorami can also be Bishir besties. Known for their calm nature and substantial size, Giant Gorami can definitely coexist with Bashirs in a suitably spacious tank that includes hiding spots. These sizable fish have the potential to reach up to 18 inches and boast an average lifespan of 10 years, making them a favorable companion option when placed alongside Bashirs. However, the primary challenge lies in the tank size required to accommodate both a Bashir and a Giant Gorami. 
The Guramis themselves necessitate a tank of 200 gallons or more, which may pose a challenge for many aquarists. Despite the size constraint, if you have the capacity for such a tank, pairing Bashirs with a giant Gorami can create a rewarding combination in your aquarium. With arowanas in the aquarium, Bashirs would surely have a great companion. Arowanas, originating from tropical climates and known for their large size, can serve as compatible companions for Bashirs when you house them in tanks of 250 gallons or more. These predatory fish thrive on a high protein diet, predominantly consisting of live foods like worms, insects, and shrimp, supplemented with frozen meals such as fish. With a tentative care, including sufficient space and appropriate nutrition, arowanas contribute to an exhilarating atmosphere in the tank while maintaining their health. Keeping both species is feasible as long as you provide a tank size large enough to accommodate their needs. Spread more love to this friendly denizen barb. Active and sociable, these denizen barbs hail all the way from Southeast Asia and could surely be a great tank mate. When placed in a spacious community tank with a diverse diet, these schooling fish can peacefully coexist with Bashirs, creating a dynamic aquarium experience under the careful care of an aquarist. While the harmonious display of these two species does add a lot of color to the tank, cautious monitoring is essential, as there is a potential risk of Bashir preying on the denizen barbs. Number 11, we have the unique looking elephant nose fish. Elephant nose fish are distinctively sized species of fish that can coexist well with Bashirs, but specific tank conditions are crucial for their well being. These medium sized fish exhibit traits of both sensitivity and aggression, requiring a minimum tank size of 50 gallons due to their dimensions. Also, to safeguard their delicate trunks, it's essential to use sand or silt as substrate. Now, as carnivores, their diet should consist of bugs, larvae, worms, and crustaceans. When housing elephant nose fish with Bashirs, generous space and hiding spots are vital to prevent potential aggression. With attentive care from aquarists, elephant nose fish can add a splendid touch to the aquarium, swimming alongside their finned companions. Loading to the top, we have the African butterfly fish. Native to Africa, this type exhibits some aggression and typically occupies the upper regions of an aquarium. But still, they can live harmoniously with Bashirs when specific conditions are fulfilled. Requiring a minimum tank size of 30 gallons, these fish thrive with enough hiding spots and access to live or frozen foods to meet their carnivorous dietary needs. The compatibility with Bashirs stems from their ability to occupy different spaces of the aquarium. Generally, the two species will not interact much as they keep to their areas of the tank. Joining the fun? Clown loaches are under the sun. Coming all the way from Southeast Asia, the playful and social clown loaches bring an element of fun to the community tank, especially when cohabiting with Bashirs. To maintain their happiness, it's essential to keep them in a group, so they require larger tank sizes, which are not commonly found in the hobby. As long as you can get a tank big enough to house both species, you should be successful with this combo. All right, roll the drums. Let's give it up to the Severums. Reaching up to 8 inches in length, this fish from South America belongs to the cichlid family and are compatible tank mates for Bashirs. This mellow giant thrives when provided with a minimum tank size of 75 gallons alongside Bashirs. Just make sure to offer ample hiding spots like cave or driftwood. This is a slam dunk combo that will hardly run into any issues. Next, we have the leopard bushfish. Indigenous to Africa, the visually captivating leopard bushfish adorned with distinctive yellow-brown hue and dark spots on their tall bodies proves to be an aesthetically pleasing and compatible addition to a tank with a Bashir. These ambush predators thrive in a minimum of 50 gallons of water and need abundant hiding spots like hides or caves to ensure a sense of security. Proper care involves a regular diet of live or frozen items such as bloodworms, brine shrimp, and other meat-based meals. Although there's a risk of them being consumed by larger Bashirs, dinosaur Bashirs are generally considered a suitable tank mate for them. We did limit this video to 15 species that are worth considering for your aquarium. However, there are others. The convict cichlid, pink convict cichlid, blue acara, and peacock bass. These vibrant and diverse options provide additional choices to create a thriving and visually appealing aquatic community in your tank. And an additional note, when carefully selecting compatible tank mates for Bashirs, it's crucial to consider factors like size, aggression levels, and specific needs. Opting for less aggressive fish of at least medium size and with a swift swimming ability enhances the likelihood of a successful community. Conversely, certain species should be avoided to ensure peace within the tank. Small schooling nanofish, danios, small cichlids, and Corridor's catfish are not recommended due to their size and vulnerability. Moreover, bettas and plecos may pose issues. 
with the latter potentially affecting the Bashir's slime coat. It's advisable to avoid purchasing any fish on this list when they're small, as they could become snacks for a Bashir, particularly during their juvenile stage. Now that you know about potential tank mates, let's dive into learning more about our Bashir pals. Bashirs are a species of freshwater fish that have stood the test of time maintaining its distinctive features for millions of years. With their eel-like bodies, scaly skin, sharp dorsal fins, short rounded tails, and visible teeth, these unique creatures make for a fascinating addition to your aquarium. However, they do exhibit a predatory nature, and they're known to be carnivorous, so they thrive on a diet of meat or aquatic invertebrates. Therefore, it's vital to understand the behavior of this ambush predator before introducing other fish species to the aquarium. They're bottom dwellers, but what sets them apart among their kind is their ability to utilize both gills and lungs for survival. Further, the Bichir belongs to a family of diverse types, each varying in size. For this Tank Mates video, we focused on the Dinosaur Bashir, which typically reaches a length of around 12 inches. Keep in mind that other Bashir types may require larger tanks and more careful selection of Tank Mates, depending on their sizes and behaviors, of course. Other types include Ornate Bashir, which can grow up to 24 inches, Saddled to 30 inches, and Delhezi to 14. As we wrap up our journey into Bashir's companionship, remember, size matters, attitude is everything, and a well-paired tank is a happy aquarium. So dive into the aqua fun, choose wisely, and let your aquatic world thrive. Well, you know the drill, folks. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And check out the next video on the right for more fishy goodness. Bye-bye.